Hi, in this video we're going to have a look at taking the email that you've wrote and taking it over to your blog. Now, um, for some of you, maybe you are into blogging already and maybe you would rather do your blog post first. Well then, what I would do is I would create the blog post, post first and then do the opposite as I've done between video one and two. You would do your blog post first and then I would recommend that you would create an email from that and send that out. Now, the reason I go the other way is um, for some reason, I don't know why it is, I, I feel um, when I'm creating an email um, rather than going to the blog, I think I write differently. Um, I think because I'm writing an email, I think I put a bit more of a personal touch into it. And for some reason, when it comes to blogging, I have this kind of, um, I don't know whether it's a mindset thing or something like that, but I have a kind of, I feel that when I write on a blog, I think it's a bit stale and it's a bit... Um, you know, lacking in personality and stuff like that. Maybe it's not the same for you. Maybe, you know, maybe you are one of those people who can write um, a blog post and put across all that emotion and all personality that, you know, you have. Um, but for me, that's why I go from the emails to the blog post and not the other way around. But depending on you, if you are happy to write a blog post every day, um, again, use ideas that um, I have given in the first video. But so what I've done is... Um, you made this uh, was a, an email I actually wrote a few minutes ago and I just took it over to the blog and basically all I did was I just copied and pasted and dropped it in now depending on what software you use at the minute I am using WordPress for the Writecom website so this is why I have a Writecom um, sorry that's why I have the, the, the WordPress dashboard here so basically all I did was just copy and paste it in the email. Now depending, I made some references to you know email and email subscribers and stuff like that then too. So that would be just simply reworking it and just mention putting in blog and blog subscribers or readers or something like that instead to kind of tailor it towards the blog. But again, it's just a simple thing. Um, put it in exactly as it is and format it. And again, because I write a daily email and I put a link in every email every blog post that's going on the blog will have a link either to one of my own products to an affiliate product that i promoted that day in the email so you know even though you know i might make some sales on the emails because i'm putting up in the blog i'm getting myself in front of another audience who probably aren't on my email list and it just kind of widens the net that the more people i get to read that content you know to click on that link the more commissions I make and the more people I can get then maybe into my email list after that. So that's another reason why I'm doubling up on the work between the email and the podcast. Just because you've sent out an email doesn't mean it's gone forever, you know. Put it on, on your blog and again, you know, you're going to get new viewers to reading it. Um, maybe they're going to like it and subscribe to you. And, you know, it gives them a chance to see what you are like as a person before they, before they actually join your email list. You know, is this the content they want to read on a daily basis? And if there is, well, then there's a good chance they'll probably join up. Now, in the next video, I'm going to show you um, when it comes to the social media images, how I do it. And I'm going to show you a very, very fast way of doing it using canva.com. But this was just a quick uh, image I created for the... Um, the blog post so again all i did was just take took the email uh, that i wrote today came over to the wordpress blog and paste it in format it and again as i said rework some of the words where it said maybe email subscribers or something like that i reworked it and put blog readers or whatever it is but again you know make sure that you have your your working link at the bottom of every um post because just in case not everybody's going to read every post on your blog maybe they might just read one and they might just disappear but if they read every single, if they read even one, you know, there's going to be a link in it. It's going to ask them to do something. They're going to draw their attention to a product or something they can buy from. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And in the next one, as I said, I am going to show you how to come up with the images for your social media. And I'm going to show you how to do it quickly and easily and how to come up with maybe three or four um, images for each uh, email or blog post that you put up. So I'll see you in the next video.